This is the story of Gary Vitti. It's a story about a little girl called Rosa and her adventures and how she finds out about the force of gravity. Rosa liked to do things for herself. She liked to plait her own hair. She liked to cook her own pancakes. She even liked to pick her own nose. She lived in a flat with Nonna and Gatto the Catto. Nonna spoke a mixture of Italian and English. Rosa spoke her own language. Baschetti, unger jeans, diddly do the wobbly pots. When there wasn't a word for something, she came up with her own. Rosa would say and flush the toaster, popping in two slices of bread and grabbing the lemon curd and sprinkles. Rosa's mind was always busy. Her hands were often busy too, but most of all, she loved to draw. Every piece of paper in the house had something drawn on it. Some of the walls did too. Portraits of Gatto the Catto, designs for ice cream machines and fish. She drew them all with her giant Napoli pencil. Baschetti is ready, called Nonna one evening. Rosa stopped chewing the end of her pencil and put it on her bedside table. The pencil rolled off and went under the bed. Rosa picked it up. The pencil rolled off again. Table, what is the matter with you? Nonna stuck her head around the door. Nonna laughed. It's not a table, it's just gravity playing tricks on you. Gary Vitti, repeated Rosa. Ha, yes, Gary Vitti and a winky wonky table, chuckled Nonna. Gary Vitti, what will she say next? Rosa wasn't sure she liked the idea of Gary Vitti playing tricks on her. She picked up the pencil to look for signs of magic or a string. She sniffed it. She drew a big circle on the wall with it. It seemed fine. She tucked it into her unger jeans pocket where Gary Vitti wouldn't find it. After dinner, Nonna suggested ice cream. They sat on the bench to eat. Ice cream makes me itchy to move, said Rosa, dancing towards the playground. Me too, laughed Nonna, dancing the top half of a tango. Rosa liked to hang upside down. I'm Gatto the Batto, she laughed, swinging with her knees hooked over the bar. Ow! The Napoli pencil had fallen out of her pocket. Oh, he's Gary Vitti again, laughed Nonna. He's so funny. Gary Vitti, said Rosa. At bedtime, Nonna put Rosa to bed, but it wasn't a good night for sleeping. The birds were awake. It was ages before Rosa fell asleep. In the middle of the night, she rolled over. Thump. Nonna, she called, and Nonna was there. What is the matter, she said. Nonna, I fell out of bed. Oh no, that naughty Gary Vitti, smiled Nonna. Rosa was suddenly wide awake. Her mind was busy again. By the next morning, she decided something. Nonna, I've had enough. I'm going to go and find that Gary Vitti. I'm going to tell him to stop being mean to me. Is that right, chuckled Nonna. Well, I come with you. I know where to find him. They started in the park. There, said Nonna, pointing. And again, Gary Vitti, said Nonna. What? asked Rosa. Where? I don't see him. I don't understand. And so it was that Nonna explained about Gary Vitti, about gravity. On the highest hill in the deepest sea, the force that pulls us down is gravity. Yes, but what is gravity? interrupted Rosa. He's a force. Some forces push, some forces pull, forces move you, explained Nonna, tangoing again. Listen. On the highest hill in the deepest sea, the force that pulls us down is gravity. Some forces they push, some forces they pull. Gravity pulls down, and it always will. A hammer or a feather, no matter what it weighs, is pulled to the ground, and that's where it stays. Gravity is a force? I was cross with a force, exclaimed Rosa. Nonna laughed, and Rosa laughed too. Rosa's mind was always busy. When they got home, she experimented and Nonna helped. Nonna, can gravity pull me up, she asked. Nonna thought for a moment and then said, I suppose it depends on what you think is up. Nonna could be very confusing sometimes. Let's go to the moon, said Nonna. The green rocket, he lands here. Which way is down? Sideways, said Rosa. The silver rocket, he lands here. Which way is down? Oh, the other way, said Rosa. Then it clicked. She understood down was towards the middle. 
We need a new bit of rhyme, said Rosa. It pulls you to the earth, it pulls you to the core, suggested Nonna. You keep on coming down till you hit the floor, laughs Rosa. Perfetta, nodded Nonna. Rosa's mind was always busy. By the age of 12, she had invented a down-powered uppity basketto to help with the shopping. See, Nonna, I found a way to make gravity pull something up. And she had. Rosa travelled far and wide. She even visited the Leaning Tower of Pisa to learn about Galileo and his experiments with gravity. Rosa thought about everything she saw and asked lots and lots of questions. She learned about different forces such as friction, air resistance and upthrust and she was determined to put them all to good use. Rosa's mind was always busy. Her hands were often busy too but most of all Rosa liked inventing things. At university, they called Rosa's inventing engineering. Her engineering involved lots of forces. Engineering always does. Gravity was her favourite, especially when it made you go really fast. By the age of 30, Rosa had invented a new kind of roller coaster. Sometimes, Nonna said she wished she'd never told Rosa about gravity. But Rosa knew she didn't mean it. And that's the end of our story.